And it's next time. Goodness, that was quick. So I think these are our jobs. Termination of command. Uni wants you to deliver Ferdinand an official reprimand. Ooh. Remove a card from deck. Gain new card, Amnesiator. The next card is played twice, then destroy it. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Do you have a, actually have a job? No, those, they're just already on the map. Okay, cool. What else here we need to mess with? We can't really afford a helper. Hmm, I don't know if I need to remove a card. Free graft, though. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh oh. A grifter saunters toward you, a scheme burning brightly in his eyes. <gasps> it's Rook! He's the other hero. One of the other heroes. Greeting, friends! Your timing's excellent! I have a business offer for you. If your blades are for sale... Might be. What's the scam? No scam, just a simple protection job. You see, I'm being tailed by an assassin. You seem pretty relaxed for someone who's grown a tail. You can save and quit, yes. It's not the first time. They're about to catch up to me. I'll give you 300 chills if you back me up. Who are you, Rook? Oh no, there were other grifters operating in Murder Bay. What's your deal? Just passing through? Business. Kind of business. Personal business. Who's after you? Would that I knew. Someone with more grudges than sense, same as usual. Yeah, sure. The 300 bucks is a lot. Sounds good to me. Excellent. Here's your pay. Oh, here they come. Hang back and look intimidating, would you please? Sure enough, a lone figure soon approaches us. All right, friend, that's close enough. Oh, shit. I know them, too. You're going to pay for what you've done, Rook. We might not be doing the challenging mission after this one. I've heard that one before. Wasn't true then, isn't true now. And now my associate and I are going to put you down. You really don't know who you're in business with, do you? You're just as likely to get shot in the back than whatever he's promised you. What's your offer? Stand aside or I bury you both. That's fine. Not good enough. Yay, Rook! He's the other hero. Ooh, Doom. You know what? Free Doom! <laughs> oh, does it double everyone's? Oh, it doubles everyone's panic. That's less than ideal, maybe. Uh, she's not attacking. Not really a lot I can do with this hand. Pinky's helping us out. He's charging his guns. Okay, there we go. So you've got some defense and a wound. Don't need the spearhead. I'll take the boosted faint. I'll take the fight dirty. I didn't read that part. It will throw mud at her. Oh, I think she had a vade. Good thing, good time to throw mud at her then. Stab of nail. Get her, Tanky. Damn. Look at all that. <laughs> I think I win. I mean, what are you worth? Lumen Bio Accelerator. When the card is drawn, gain evasion. Burnout. It's burnout. If the card is in your hand and then it turns suspended. Eh, I've got enough crap. Eh, whatever. Victory for Zim!
Draw a card, it costs zero until played. Oh, that's the one that uses up all your uh, combo to do extra damage. I don't have a lot of combo builders, though. This card, two cards, attack random target. Eh, I'll take a Haymaker. Haymaker's pretty good. Thank you, friend. Could have handled that myself, but I would have risked breaking a sweat. Can you tell me what that was all about? For you? I assume it was about getting paid. No, for you and the hash head. Forgive me, but long experience has taught me the value of keeping my secrets secret. Nothing personal, of course. Just a matter of policy. We're friendly. We're not friends, after all. Suit yourself, then. I do, and I will. Till next time, Grifter. Rook heads off deeper into Murder Bay, carrying more baggage than a pack of Oshnu under that ridiculous hat. But he gave us just an absurd amount of money. And we didn't take any damage. That's a... Uh, that's actually... Well, no. I'm not going to go into it. I do recognize that character from Rook's playthrough, though. I didn't do the whole playthrough, but... Uh, what are you worth? How much are you? 250 bucks? Yeah, sure. Let's do the challenging one. So it'll give us more money. And we can negotiate for money. Wouldn't that be fun? Hey, there's a new there's a new guard here. Can I have some spicy noodles? I like spicy noodles. Thank you. When you need the fastest pencil pusher in the West, you need Uni. Well met, Traveler. Uni looks up from her paperwork as you approach. Word is you're looking for a grifter. The Admiralty needs something taken care of, yes? Oh, sounds official. Don't you people have goons for that? We do, but this mission's a sensitive nature. I can't trust our people to do it. Now that sounds lucrative. One of our own, Ferdinand's gone rogue out in the wilderness. We sent an Admiralty team to bring them back in, but they were compromised. Now Ferdinand's holed up somewhere out there in the wilderness, operating beyond the pale of any acceptable conduct. Still commanding troops. I want you to find Ferdinand and terminate her command. Oh. Is it official reprimand, or are we murdering them? I'll do it. Good. Member of the compromised team has been spotted back in Murder Bay. Find her and get Ferdinand's location and infiltrate it. And bring Ferdinand back? No, just bring back their, back their badge. Leave the remains in the wilderness. Oh, this is the most official of reprimands. Remains? I didn't mean... Eh, okay. All in a day's grift. And I need a better deal. Oops, Zex is here. That's fine. We can kill Zex, too. Are you giving me dominance? Hey, our... Wow. Okay. Sure. God, I have too many cards. You need Brain Gills something? We can Brain Gills Veiled Anger. Our Tall Oppress. I'm gonna get hit pretty hard. Okay, there's our Heckler. I'm not too worried about the Heckler. Let's see if we can get some defense. Ah, that'll work. Hmm, pale Mind. Um, I already have some influence? No, I don't. I have some influence. I just, our minimum damage is so high because of our graphs. That works. Is Ferdinand really our friend? That's a lot of arguments. You may have made a bad decision. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, I'm thinking. It's technically the same thing. Jesus! 
<laughs> that just got silly. Contractor leveled up. Whenever you gain dominance, deal two damage. See, I have no idea, but I know I won. That's what I know, Shaman. Fine, have an extra 158 shills. 308 shills, my goodness. Oh, shit. Well, we'll kill Zex when we come back. That'll make me feel good. It's almost time for the truck to get there. I think it's due at 6.30 today. You see Donnie! She hasn't noticed you yet. Okay, good for her. How you doing? Find Downey standing with the other hired meat at the beach. Her furtive sideways glance and jumpiness have not found her any work so far today. Hey, I'm looking to work. You have work for me? You're Admiralty, ain't you? Don't you already have a job? Just a uniform, man. Doesn't define me. Do you have work or not? I can quit any time, scratch, scratch. Looking for Ferdinand. I heard you might know where to find her. Oh. Oh, no. Forget I asked you anything. I'm not saying nothing that you, about that. You don't understand what she's capable of. I don't know nothing. Ask about her, Ferdinand. Hire her as a guide. Convince them that Ferdinand must be stopped or beat them. Donnie will dislike us. Well, we'll just, we'll just negotiate them. You spent time with Ferdinand. Do you think she's just going to let you walk away? She loves Tinky. And some dominance. And she's going to beat up my dominance. Don't beat up my dominance. I don't think I have a way to save it. That's a pain in the ass. Um. Well, I don't want to take the damage, so we'll even it out. The use of menacing air. A hostile instinct to throw an obtuse in our deck for later. Four to eight. That's a good interrogate. Hmm. Boosted know it all. Oh, yeah, it's probably time to take brain gills out of our deck. Over a bear is not really worth. Need the mending drain. Taller press. Yeah, that gives us more dominance. She's gonna beat up that on dominance, bitch. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I guess boosted probably. Then I take a bunch of damage. Steal 10 shills. Well, don't do that. Don't steal 10 shills. Uh, you're not going to be able to kill anything. That's fine. comes out. It doesn't have to be in my hand to come out. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think so. I think it just applies the effect twice, would be my understanding. Uh, man, evoke. This card for free from wherever it is. Oh yeah, sure. No, like, yeah, let's get more of that. You're right, I'll take you to Ferdinand, but don't listen to Ferdinand when we get there. She tells the truth, man, but people like us, like, like you and me, we're not ready to hear the truth. We'll blow your mind if you let it. <laughs> don't let it. <laughs> this is fantastic. This is a great mission. I'm all on board this mission. 
Donnie leads you to a long winding path through the forest. You see the char marks on the tree stumps, suspicious stains in the dirt, and other traces of recent violence with increasing frequency as you press on. It's just up ahead. I don't know if I can do this, man. She starts talking again. I might listen. Then plug your ears, or cut them off for all I care. Nobody likes a whiner. We're here to do a job. Let's do it. You push Donnie along and enter a well-ordered campsite that reeks of death and madness. Hello, Sal. I've been expecting you. You have? Of course. Donnie's one of my children. I feel the doubt she feels as if it were my own. I felt your weird words watering the seeds of that doubt, just as I now see the fruit that seed is born in front of me. I told you, she knows everything. Cute parlor trick. I suppose you know I'm here, too. Naturally. Did Uni tell you why, she want the, why they want to terminate my command? I've learned not to ask a lot of questions when I'm getting paid. It's a grifter thing. I see. An assassin, then. Well, anything else before we enact our destinies? What are you doing? The Admiralty isn't happy with your methods. What are you doing out here? Ah, good question, my assassin. I have learned the truth about life and death here in the Grifflands. I will tell you the secret if you want to hear it. Oh man, here it comes. She's going to start talking the truth. Yes, but some minds aren't ready for it. I've learned that now. The secret is, none of this matters. Life, death, it's all an endlessly repeating loop. Oh god. Ferdinand has gained awareness. This time, fate has made us enemies. Next time, we may be friends. I may send you to destroy Uni in this place, or you may choose another path. But given enough time, we will all return to the same places again and again. Oh, I can't handle this, man. I'm freaking out. <laughs> We're not in control. Even the player only chooses what happens next out of the options presented. There's no agency, only permutation. Who is the player? the hesh are you even talking about? Maybe you're just not ready for this message. So why does the Admiralty want you dead? They maintain their power through monopoly on violence. Through violence, I show that their power is as meaningless as life and death. So they see me as a threat to their power, however illusory. And once you see it, your eyes are open, man. You can't close them again. I am not some simple rogue like them, though. They use violence to progress their linear narratives. I use violence to test the meta-narrative meta that underpins us all. Death is permanent, but only for this run of the dice. We will just roll them again, and the overturned tables will be reset to be knocked over again in a different way. You see? You will. Alright, I have a contract on Ferdinand, and I will be fulfilling it. The rest of you are free to go if you come to your senses. So this is the path we're going to take, is it? Sal's working with us. Afraid of Tinky still. All the dominance. So what do we have? We have... When destroyed, get 30 bucks. Potential enemies. Goon Lock will fight against you in the coming battle if you don't scare her off first. I mean... That's more people to kill and more potential loot. I mean, if you think about it. That's fine. We'll, 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 we'll scare everyone off. Why not? Okay, I don't need Drain. They're gonna blow up my dominance. Can I save it? I can save it. So this is a lot like the assassin fight. So now she is unshielded. We have scared at least one person away. That's a mighty interrogate. Good lord. I can't mirrored threaten it. Ah, I can duplicate my oppression. I don't want that interrogate to go off, that's for damn sure. Ooh, and it attacked another random argument to trigger more dominance. Fucking great. Um, I need that to not go off. I'm gonna take 10 damage? Fuck. Is that... No, that's just your base attack for 12. Good lord. 
What are thinking? Do you have anything good? I mean, bait. I'll take slightly less damage. All the erupts. Low blow. Remove target argument's composure. That's not bad. What do you turn into? Steal target argument's composure. Yeah, sure, I like that. Wait! Oh, I need to read the flavor text. Low blow. Low blow. It's gotta hoit. No matter. You can try to kill me now, Grifter. I will resist this time, though. Nothing personal. There is a small army of us, so what do you have? Skittish. Will panic whenever an ally panics or dies. Panic, panics, attacks add injury card to your draw pile. Oh, that's less than ideal. It just fills up your thing. That's not bad. She's a Shroke, so she gets extra damp defense. She is wanted dead. My Shroog Fang! Apply two wound, gain two power. Sweet mother of god. Yeah, you can have that. Uh, I guess I'll just save the rest of it. And she's gonna shoot my dog! That formation defend is absurd. Haymakers! I have eight hit points left? That's unfortunate. Like, even if there's a whole bunch of you. Sneak attack? No. Ferdinand is dead. For now. Whoa, what have you done? I don't understand, man. I think I'm gonna have to give this a think. Donnie staggers off into the camp. Fantastic. There's Vex. Zex. Hey Zex, how you doing? Heard you been talking shit. She loves Tanky. Beat up, don't beat up my dominance. I need that. There's my evidence. A boosted evil eye. Lovely. Good lord. All the erupts went off. Those are better than I thought they would be. So I've actually broken the game harder than I did on my initial playthrough. So that's cool. Oh, you have Formation 10? You suck.
Oh, to all allies. Oh, whatever makes you happy, I guess. I have a switchblade. And hit me really hard. Yay, Tinky! Nah, that's fine. Double damage. 50% chance of applying a wound. Spend two combo draw a card. No, that's fine. Boost the switchblade. I like the switchblade. That worked out pretty good. Yay, Zex is dead. Hi, Uni. Wait, can I buy more spicy noodles? No. I'll get paid then. I've dealt with Ferdinand. Good, now never speak of this again. That would be okay with Pale Menace. Mm. Nope, wrong thing. Hmm. Now nah, we're good. 30 bucks. That's a lot of money. Ooh, authorization. I ask a nearby member of the Admiralty to help you with battle or negotiation. I mean, shh. Eh. I think the last day is just the final mission. I don't think I'm going to worry about it. Prect pulls you aside. Yeah, you're done. I know. Have fun. Bye, Prect. Miss you. Spar with Ionis. Upgrade your battle cards. Don't need to. Another time offer. Meditation spot. That'll give us more resolve. Eh, I don't really need to, though. Any battle cards need to be upgraded? I can upgrade Doom or Sneak Attack. Final pieces. Yeah, let's go spar with Ionis. I don't even remember who that is. Oh, our our Hessian buddy. Ionis is happy to see you. Hey Sal, feel like throwing down? I have a new move I want to try out. We can upgrade Doom, we can upgrade Defensive Surge, we can upgrade Scatter. Hmm. So what do you turn into? Pale Doom. Double the Panic of All Enemies. That would be better. Uh, what else was it? Maneuvers? Man maneuvers? Oh, I need to, uh, I need to, uh, boop, boop, do, do, by type. There we go. Um... Wasn't defensive surge. Scatter. Card up to three cards and gain extra power. Draw a card, discard up to two cards. That's about to level up on its own, though. Defensive surge. Doom is hard to use. Let's do that. Okay. Can I give you money for... I mean, probably already... Do you already... Oh, you already love me. Okay. Okay. Um... Head to the Rise Outpost. I assume this will be a challenging fight. Hi, Numbnuts. Uh, no, we're good. You got Auxiliary. Pull all item cards from your draw deck into your hand. <laughs> That's a big heal. Summon an auto dog to fight for you. Oil grenade. Robodex. Gain one temporary power whenever you draw a card. That's only 37 bucks. I'd be a fool not to. Okay. 
Oh yeah, we can get rid of the brain thing. Do you have anything good? Jugulanot. Hmm. Maximum damage of all cards by one. Eh. Improvise a maneuver card. Nope. Three temporary power on the third, sixth, and ninth turns of battle. Shuffle your deck, gain a power. Uh, my deck's too big for that. Hmm. Maybe. Nah, I think we'll be okay. Let's get rid of some stuff. Okay. Get rid of stabs. Okay. Final pieces. Good, you're here. What's up, Nadan? You look happy? Is that your happy face? You know Ulo. Name rings a bell. Admiralty officer, right? That's her. Kradeshi. Slippery as hash itself. Only one person living I hate as much as Cassio, and that's Ulo. And like most of her kind, she's got a big family. Lots of obligations. Turns out one of her brothers is in the cult, and he's coming to town for the auction. You see where I'm going with this? I've got a big barbed hook. All I need is a worm. Kidnap Ulo's brother and use him as bait to draw Ulo into fight. Kill Ulo, and Naden will get you into the auction. Go insinuate yourself, then set a trap. Once you're in position, we can send the ransom. Though. Only there's not going to be no ransom. You'll kill Ulo the second she shows her face. Do that, and I promise you've proven yourself to me. I'll get you into that auction. My word. Yeah, sure. Alright, if you need a little extra muscle, feel free to bring one of the spree. Just know that you won't be able to talk your way through the Admiralty with a spree in tow. I am I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. You arrive at the beach where you find a rather impatient Admiralty. Is this Hessian brat supposed to show up anyway? If I wasn't terrified of Hulo, I'd get my plonk on. A drink that tastes like brine and leaves you feeling seasick. Uh, guard and Vrox. I just trick her into leaving. Ahoy, I'm your midnight relief, here to relieve. Oh yeah? That seems too good to be true. Sometimes the stars align, friend. I'm here on Ulo's orders. She loves Tinky! And now we're going to scream at her until she does what we want. Mm, no dominance. Shame. Uh, you're beating up Tinky! Beat up Tinky. There's an interrogate. A five to seven interrogate. How about you go to hell with that? There go the erupts. So that was what, second turn? Not bad. Not bad. I don't think I need another evil eye. I mean, but I'm probably wrong. I think free duplicity. Yeah. Ulo thought an Aberly guard would draw too much attention, so she hired me. I can go to guard the Hessian and get them where they need to go safely, all under the radar. Oh, that's clever. That makes us our lucky day, don't it? Thanks, Hunter. Have fun babysitting. Guards leave. I like the little animations everybody has. Guards leave. You breathe a sigh of relief. 
Lucky day, indeed. <laughs> sorry, sorry, evil cackling. Out over the water, a light cuts its way through the fog. Soon a small dinghy inserts itself into the shore. Out of it steps a Kredeshi dressed in flamboyant finery. Fulo looks over you with open distaste. Who are you? Where's Ulo? She has clear instructions from Mother to meet me here. Just beat him up. Fulo will dislike me. I'm your guard, of course. You don't look like one of her ten soldiers. He does not like taking you. He's a merchant. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I think we go Evil Eye into Boosted Browbeat for... That'll be, what, 24? Or I duplicate. See, the problem is if I duplicate it, I think... Yeah, it's it's won't work because of the actions. Now, if I duplicate it, oppress, but there's no arguments out. Seems a shame not to duplicate something. I don't think this does damage since it's a lose resolve. Yeah, I think we evil eye and boosted browbeat. Got his money talks off. We do 16. He's gonna blow up Tinky. No, that's fine. We'll save Tinky. Ah, whatever. leveled up. So what do we want? We wanted... Yeah, we'll make it go more often. Bandits in the area have been keeping a close eye on the Admiralty. Ulo thought it'd be safer with off-the-books protection. She knows I prefer to travel with fanfare. This cloak and dagger nonsense is very typical for her. Well, lead on. What a dope. Kill Ulo. You find the Spree safe house and other sure Fulo safely inside. Fulo, it's cute. Watch your head, my liege. Why, thank you, I must say, for a hired gun you show impeccable respect and... Finally, Fulo takes in the squalor of the safe house and the Spree thug approaching with a link of coarse rope. Why, wait just a moment, you aren't a hoodlum, are you? Fulo is quickly bound and gagged by Hiku, who manages it with professional ease. You made it. He give you any trouble? You know Hessians, they do all the talking and let the tentacles do all the thinking. What have you heard? Apparently Ula wasn't spitting bricks when Fulo didn't show up. Or was. Ransom note should have gotten there by now. Fulo hates you. Oh no, the shopkeepers are mad at me. I will have to kill him. Hiku begins to pack up her things headed for the door. Wait, where are you going? Naden wants me back on the tail end in case anything goes wrong, and uh, no offense, but it probably will. Or you could stay and help fight. Hang on, I need your help. Hey, she likes Tinky. So she... Uh, this one's not trustworthy. Uh, we'll get plus one damage. That's not bad. Hecklers aren't bad. There's one... Uh, one of the dog people gave one that's like a strong interrogate. Like, it, it's one of these that attacks and doubles its damage every turn. So she has a short fuse. Whenever you shuffle your deck... Hiku gets impatience, which increases all her damage. And gives her arguments more resolve, which is bad. Hey, low blow. Uh, she doesn't have any composure, though. I'm getting ready to get hit for seven. Suck that. Uh... 
Yeah, let's duplicate some promoted thinking and get some composure. And let's get some more composure. Doing low blow just for the experience. And that's it. No at all. So we have a escalation. When a hostility card is played, increase stacks by one. Add plus one damage to all intents. Mm, I'll need to take care of that. Got the setup finally. Uh, more erupt, please. Yes, very much so. Stay our chances against Ulo double. Simple math. Simple math is Naden kills me if I don't follow orders. He won't if we win, and if you don't, you'll already be dead. Huh. I guess it does make a weird sort of sense. Fine, I'll help, but you take the Oshnu, all right? Those things creep me out. You sit and wait, and it's not long before you hear something large cleaving its way through the bush, at, bush outside. Ah, oh, here we go. Fulo wrestles his mouth out of his gag, bleeding smugly. Ha! Now you'll see, miscreant. No one interferes with the Alawano family. For what it's worth, I plan on having your skull preserved as a trophy. Good for you. Face Ulo. You exit the safe house, ready to face Ulo. Ulo cuts a daunting figure perched atop a fully equipped battle ocean. You've never seen a snail that frightening. This was a fun joke, Grifter, but all you got for yourself was a day in the company of my least interesting sibling. <laughs> Hope it was worth it, because this will be a sorry way to die. Yeah, yeah, I've got my own score to settle. Let's just get this over with. <laughs> it's a battle, Oshnu. Bertha. Muscular glands, gains power at the end of turn, attack power, and then wound. Oshnu shell cannot be killed, but will hide in its shell and lose all power when brought to one health. Oh god. Do we spicy noodles? Might save spicy noodles for later. Hmm. I don't want to spend combo. I'm about to get hit, so let's boosted faint. Boosted switch blade. Oh, good. Oh, this is is this an attack card? Item. This probably won't work with assault, will it? Hmm. Oh, I had an evasion. I didn't need to do defend. Oh well. Hmm? No, I mean, attack card is probably red card, so I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna save it. Uh, I'll go ahead and shoot that. I mean, it's plus two permanent power, and as long as I don't take damage, I'm up to plus six power. Cleaved. Cleaved? 
Bleed no longer decays. Ooh. Fun. That works. Who's hitting me for eight? You are. So we need you to go down. And then the severe beating of an Admiralty officer. I imagine it will heal at some point and come back out. Now, surely it can't be as easy as just scaring it for 25 hit points. Now I just need my haymaker. Ah, oh, it's back. Charge disc. Next attack deals bonus damage and inflicts three wounds. You suck. No way to dodge that. Ah! Oh, there's my haymaker at least. Uh, boost deception. Won't well, waste the haymaker on you. Right? But he's gonna hit me. Oh, they're both gonna hit me. Some of my power. That's a lot of damage. Well, my combo's gone. I think he's gonna run away. It'll be fine. Mm, now she's not, because it was mostly the snail doing horrible things to us. Donnie hates us. Oh no. Kidney shot. Ooh, a stun. That's pretty good. So he could have used this a long time ago. Whenever you improvise, deal two damage. That's pretty good too. Kidney shot could be good. Even this late, I'll take that. <laughs> Not a duplicity. No, please, no more duplicity. No more duplicity! I'm curious about Caprice. I'll take Caprice, just because I want to see how it works. Rugged wiring upgraded. Gain four power at the start of each battle. Ooh, got her charged disc. 
Ulo's corpse lay in the dirt. You hear a scuffle behind you. Fulo struggled from his bonds and emerged from the safe house. Ulo, no! You really should have stayed in there, Fulo. Hold on, Grifter. I can see I was just a pawn. You got what you wanted out of Ulo, didn't you? I, I can pay. I'm the favorite. My mother will want to see me safely return, but nobody will care about Ulo. What's more, I can promise you our family won't seek retribution. Yeah, but stuff's gonna cost 20 more dollars. I never even... I've never had an entire Kradesha dynasty after me. Sounds kind of fun. But, but... I'd say it's nothing personal, but I did spend time with you. Ulo goes down easily. Clearly Ulo inherited all the cunning in the family. Tragic. Well, look who it is. Ulo's dead, as you requested. Gotta say, it got a bit messy there. You not worried about the wrath of a Kradeshi dynasty? <laughs> Do I look like I worry much? I, uh, it, it's hard to say. Ulo was no good. Dirty cop, spiteful and reckless because her parents wouldn't buy her out of trouble. Her whole brood's in Cassio's pocket. Once we deal with Cassio, there won't be anyone to protect that dynasty no more. Thanks for your hard work. I'll send word tomorrow when it's Cassio's turn. Nadan loves you. All allied spree get plus two power. Good for them. Uh, what tomorrow? What about tomorrow? Are you ready for Cassio? I am. The whole soul's gonna wash off after this, like a pearl on the foam. This time tomorrow, where do you see yourself? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm just taking it as it comes, you know. Don't tell me you can't picture it. You came all this way. I'll manifest it for you. Take it out of the abstract. Cassio will be down. You'll be standing. Taller than you've ever been. And that memory you got of Cassio in your head of her being all tall and powerful and unstoppable. That memory won't be there no more. And you'll have room for something new in its place. I never heard you talk so much. I'm damn loquacious. You get to know me well enough. <laughs> you ever gonna tell me what Ulo did? Nah, she just ain't got principles. Gets under my skin. Literally, or...? She punched a hole in my face. And you want to know the details? Don't you want to read some poetry or something? Enhance yourself? You read poetry? Sure I do. I'll lend you a book sometime. <laughs> what? Tired. You got me talking too much. Get some shut eye. Tomorrow you won't see Cassio coming. Oh no! You stopped on the road by an admiralty patrol, swinging their batons with showmanship. You, Grifter, come over here. There's a pompous curl to her lip that she suggests you're in for a heap of trouble. Best watch yourself. Hey, Honor, you've come along at the right time. I got a warrant to take down Viss over there, but uh, I don't much fancy doing it on my own. You want through this checkpoint? Do me a solid, yeah? Just be sure to take him alive. Wait, is this this shit again? Wait a second, I've already been... No! I think you can get fucked. Got enough of you admiralty assholes. This is probably gonna go poorly for me. <laughs> this works. <laughs> that worked out good. Yeah, tanky with a hammer. You fucker. You're gonna run away this turn. You have five defense.
Monid hates you. <laughs> Winnie hates you. I'm running out of people to hate me. New deception. I wanted another deception. Starting to gain a reputation for violence. Reputation proceeding at the end of your turn. Incept one apprehension and destroy this card. Well, let's check it out. Hang on, hang on. Six people love us. Six people hate us. But to be fair, one of them is Cassio and most of them are Admiralty. And that's Grunjax who... Uh, I took them captive. See, and then that was that aloe bitch. Okay, so what, what's the word about the rest of you? Killed their friend Joe, killed their friend Ulo, killed their friend Erasti, killed their friend Tima. <laughs> oh god, did not help them. Was attacked. Well, that's a lot of dead Admiralty guys. <laughs> uh, violence doesn't solve every problem, but it certainly solved this problem. All right, job's done. Hey, thanks for that. I saw that fight go down. I wouldn't have made it far compared to you. Vs loves you. Start all negotiations with a voice of the people. See, this is the opposite of what happens. Target opponent argument takes two damage each turn. Uh, this argument's resolved damage doubles for each stack. Yeah, so I think if you have more voice of the people. But against an opponent, it just goes up on its own. I know I forced your hand, but I owe you one, for real. No worries, bud. Getting sick of the Admiralty's bullshit. You're fine. Just in the back. Okay, we're gonna try and power through the fifth day real quick before the truck shows up, because that will be really sad if I have to interrupt the stream. But it is getting close. I should probably just stop and come back later. The auctions today, you hope you're ready for it. You notice a large box with the Spock Baron's logo. More spark grenades! Thanks, Wanda. Fish has been waiting for you. Naden just sent word. The auction's starting. He said to meet him right away. Finally, I'll be off then. Careful, Sal. Yeah, I guess we go straight to it. Let's go for it. Go for it. We'll do it live. It's quiet as you approach the meeting point, but you're trained to eye spot Naden crouching in the darkness, finger pushed to his twisted lips. You hiding from something? Admiralty ambush on the far side. They're camouflaged, but not good enough. Ain't no way through that's not through them. I need to distract them. Draw them out so I can get the drop on them. Convince Naden to distract them instead. We're in the ambush? No, go distract the ambush. Sounds good. I'll distract them. You come in with blades drawn. Be smart and careful. There's no prize for being the first one dead. That's why they call me Sal. Smart and careful, Ick Derek. You emerge from the tree line pretending to be sneaky about it. You're joined by a smug officer soon after. Looks like our tip was right. Stop right there, Grifter. You're in Admiralty territory, as you damn well know. Ah, ooh, no, you got me. Oh, Hesh, it's you. Ha! <laughs> Been looking for a chance to rough you up. So you see everything's connected, everything's in its place, and you? You're just in the wrong place at the right time. What the Hesh are you talking about? With a serpent-like hiss, Naden slips from the shadows and eliminates Winnie's troops. Uh, wh what? Naden leaves Winnie to you. You're mine. He only recently started hating me. Oh, there's my other backstab. That's a shame. So he's got four counter. Not the worst thing ever. Wrong with my defense? Hmm. Like, my defense cards are down. I'm not sure why. It's not important.
Yes. Eight and Haymaker upgraded. Seven defense. Deal two damage. Yes. Buckshot. Don't matter. Oh, Buckshot's upgrading. So two wounds to random enemy. Sure, why not? Spirit. So you do know how to use those things. I picked up a couple things over the years. Let's go before more switches come sniffing. Follow Naden. Naden leads the way and you proceed together in, fam proceed together in familiar silence. You follow Naden through the twisting tunnels and come upon a small contingent of spree guarding a junction. Naden's here. Look alive, you scabs. It's time to get down to business. Is this the entrance to the auction? Yeah, you go up ahead and do your business. Can I convince you to come with? I'm not gonna lie. That fight took the wind out of me. We're gonna hold up tight here and wait for the fireworks to start. Once the assembled hoi poi panic and make a runner for their shill purses will be easy pickings. Here, take this. Naden passes you a small device. It's a lock melter. Should open one of the artifact crates. Might be something useful inside. Might help you survive today. Why are you just giving me this? If you do manage to take out Cassio, man, remember who helped you. Don't give her a chance to get the first blow. Cut hard and fast, and you'll get out of this alive. What about you? Where will you be? I want her dead as much as you do. That's why we're in this together. Once Cassio's dealt with, we'll go our separate ways. Better that way. Won't be long until the bounty comes calling for me. I know there's a bounty on you, but what makes you think you'll take? Think I'll take it? Because you got honor. And you clean up messes. Sooner or later, I'll make a mess you can't leave standing. I choose my jobs. You did me a solid. We're friends, even. When you come for me, I won't hold back. I'll fight to kill. But I won't hold it against you, either. What the hash are you talking about? What I mean is we're good. If our paths ever cross with worse, I won't think you're a traitor. You live your life, your way, and it'll be all right. What do you do with Cassio gone? We span my operation, but just enough to keep the others in line. When someone like Cassio gets too much power, they need pruning. Right. Well, I hope your shears are sharp, because weeds tend to grow. I know you're not going to like to hear this, but thank you. Why wouldn't I like to hear it? Uh, because you don't seem very touchy-feely. I just don't make a show of it. You're welcome. Okay, I like Naden. You emerge into a dusty back room in the auction house. You push some crates back in front of the entrance, take a quick look around. Seems as though you stumbled across a storage room for the auction lots. You pull out the lock melter, and you have your pick of the artifacts, it seems. So you can expect the lots or go to the auction. Well, let's look at the lots. Read the labels. The Blast Chamber. Gain one action, start your turn. Battlegraph. That's kind of, We need that. Beginning of your turn. Whenever you apply bleed. No. Suitcase grenades. Hit all enemy targets for six to eight. Destroy after three uses. Rentorian Force Glaive. Apply eight bleed. Eh, it's eight damage once. EH-1076 Discharge Pistol. Apply Wound to Piercing. Destroy after two uses. I want the Blast Chamber and the Suitcase Grenades. I really want the Blast Chamber. Carefully open the door and slip into the auction. Sneak into the main room. The auction's starting. You can participate and maybe gain an item or hide in the shadows and hope to catch Cassio by surprise. Stay hidden in the shadows or approach the auction. We will approach the auction. I don't see Cassio. The auctioneer takes stage and a hush falls over the crowd. This is fun. This is a neat uh, negotiation. Tremble for all concerns with her before the mighty indifference of Hesh. Let's get down to business. Next lot is a cache of powerful artifacts pulled from the depths of the Grout Bog. You don't have the shills to actually purchase any of these items. I kind of do. These fools don't need to know that. Hesh will support the rightful endeavor. Keep that leash dry. I guess they like me? Improvises. Oh, yeah, we can bid. So, we have an anonymous bid. Okay, so he has introduced the discharge pistol. If So, we don't attack him. We attack whatever argument we want to uh, win, or we attack the bids, which will attack us or the items. Uh, if another bidder dismisses the argument, it's removed from play. If you dismiss the argument, you gain the item and end the auction. We have two prayers of Hesh. Apply four resolve and four composure to a friendly argument. Well, we want to keep the shit out of that. So you're getting attacked by that, and that's 18. Well, I don't want that. Um, well, evil eye, evil eye. 
Call a press on you. I was hoping that'd do a little more damage. Ooh, I can mending drain. Uh, well, I guess we'll have to deflect it. Yes, that doesn't do anything. Plays it, though. Okay, cool. I like Prayer of Hesh. That's good. Ooh, shit. Something took a lot of damage. I don't want the... Oh, yeah. I don't care about the destroy. Suitcase grenades! That's what we want. We want all the suitcase grenades. Steal all composure from a target. For 100 shills. Double target bitter's damage this turn. 100 shills. Target argument loses 8 resolve. Pay 50 shills. Okay. So it's going to be at 39. That's fine. What do I have here? Ah, I needed that earlier. Hmm, I could throw a tall overbear out, but I don't want to accidentally get the discharge pistol. But fuck it. Oh, bless you, tall overbear. Oh, but I can't do enough damage to win it. Shit balls. Mm hmm. How can we do this? I'm gonna take four. I don't have a way to do eight to you quickly. Can I put composure on it? <laughs> Shit. Means I won't get the suitcase grenades, and I wanted those. Makes me sad. Frick. Oh well. Tall oppression did too much oppression. Well, what else have you got? Oh fuck it, we'll take the pistol. It's not bad. It would be the next best thing. And our Kudger upgraded. Lovely. Sold to the Grifter in the front row. You gather up the EH-1076 Discharge Pistol. Takes you a second to realize the hall has fallen quiet, too quiet. You shade your eyes and see the silhouette you'd spent so long looking for in the shadows. Not sure how a hunter like you got into the auction, but rest assured the folks here can take one look at you and know you don't belong. You gonna start a fight here, Cassio? Why not? I've been asked to. Sure enough, you look around and see more than a few disapproving stares from the gathered elite. Guess they didn't take too kindly to you muscling in and claiming their prize. I knew a grubby little boggling like you would be go too greedy for your own good. I hate you enough to almost fall for that, but ain't nobody greedier than you, Cassio. You sold out your wit, your friends, heck, even me. I bet my contract didn't even go for that high a price. You could have made more off me as your apprentice, but I bet looking at my face just made you hate your freedom a little too much. You notice Admiralty guards approaching from the door, and see the specters of spree goons coalescing out of the shadows. You've been in enough brawls to know what's about to go down. Cassio's answer is to raise her weapon. Her goons convene to block your escape from either side. The lights go out. You hear the shouts, bangs, and some of the great lumen tank under the stage breaking. The emergency lighting comes back on, revealing a ruined auction hall. Let's dance, Ick Derek. So we can call Naden three times. Probably won't last that long. So what do you have? You have Macro Rasp. Beginning your turn, take damage equal to the count of bleed, then have bleed count. Oh, okay, she does bleed. Uh, her Power Glaive deals additional damage. Suitcase grenades. Bitch. She bought them! She'll throw a grenade every turn? Fuck off. Okay, so that's random. That's cool, though. When I first fought her, she had 
something that she had a hologram belt, so she made copies every time. That's why I've been collecting the spears. So it's good to know that that changes. Super. Let's get that out of the way. I'm going to keep Assault. I'm not going to take any damage this turn from the Evasion. Or I'm not going to take damage from one attack. That was a good first round. Pack protection? God bless you, Tinky. Oh, so I guess it depends on what she hits us with. Either the Rasp or the Power Glade. And my rival Haymaker. Ah! Backstab. That's lovely. Go, Tinky! Oh, God. Ah! Go, Naden! Good job. Proud of you, boy. Three turns? That worked out pretty good. The dust settles. Those who could take, who could, took cover out of harm's reach. Hands, heads reappear like crabs crawling out of the sludge after the rain. Thank you, Marcy. Once you and Cassio threw the first blows, it wasn't long before the spree hiding in the rafters made their move, and the Admiralty closed in to finish them off. There aren't many people left standing. Never seen a knife move as fast as yours. That's good. Efficient. Got these blades with Cassio in mind. Keep them close. They're loyal and effective. Weapon like that's better than a friend. I don't know if I agree with that. You don't have to. See you around, Sal. Remember what I said. Naden ducks out of the tent before reinforcements can arrive. You look down one last time at Cassia before taking what you need to claim the bounty. You leave her on the floor without a backwards glance. No more looking back. The crowd parts to let you pass. And it's only the first of many such exits. You're a rich woman now, and you'll have a reputation to maintain. With Cassio gone, there's a yawning hole where her influence should be. You feel it tugging on you like a hook through your navel. And sure enough, the resources begin to fall into place. Fish's reputation improves with yours, but she never lets on whether she likes it. Naden wields his newfound power like a gavel, making his enemies tremble. Sometimes a coin or two finds its way to the little folks who need it. Maybe it was Naden who made it happen, but you never knew him to be loose-lipped. Narrator's a cheeky bitch. You stay still just about long enough to check in on those that matter. But that isn't too long. You have old graves you want to visit. Old wounds that still need tending to. There's a life waiting for you in Haveria now. You just have to seize it. So, you've unlocked a new game mode for Sal. Focus on card play and test out new strategies and brawl the next time you start a run. Did five days. We won 21 battles. We won 28 negotiations. Eight graphs. Seven people loved us. We're still alive. We did eight jobs. We did 45 something. Uh, so, we unlocked the setup negotiation and the crusher battle cards. So these are like booster packs that end up available for sale and in your draw piles.
Invective. Gain one heated. We got a new outfit. The big draw and the fury. And we unlocked a prestige. I don't know what that is. We uh, upgraded 46 cards and acquired 2,448 shills. You get half of that. That's nice. Not even, Shaman. You'll see. So. If we did another. So we've unlocked 21% of Sal. So we have Brawl, whatever this is. Um, you can change outfits. There's another Hunter. Another outfit. So we have Professional Sal. Hunter Sal. I don't like that they don't have the red. The red's an important part of her outfit, I feel. Um, card sets. So you can turn these on or off. You know, you can look and say, oh, I don't want to deal with that shit. So it's kind of neat. You can customize your deck a little bit that way. You can't actually change your deck, though. You just kind of get a feel for what things are. And Prestige is non-boss enemies have upgraded abilities and have a chance to spawn as a promoted version. What that means. And then that's all the Prestiges. So there's a lot of playability in this if you like the mechanics, which for me, this this game hits a lot of the right notes in my brain. Like the, the, the gambling uh, aspects of it. Like the you never know what kind of upgrade you're going to get, the you're committed to an action once you decide it, stuff like that. Mutators are complete all main stories to unlock mutators. I... Uh, no clue. So I guess I assume I have to beat Brawl. I have not done any Brawl. Um, and then we can also do Rook, and I don't know how to unlock this guy. Or if he's available yet. Oh, he's still in development. Okay, that explains it. You can go to the forum and you can read. I imagine that's... See, he's on the roadmap. And they have an update in two weeks and three days. So it's neat that they have completed runs. I think that's really cool. So maybe we'll do Rook in the bog job. That's one I have already played, kind of. The Rook arrives in a company town on the brink of revolt to work a mysterious contract. That's like, we ran across Rook. So he is all about flipping coins. He has snails or tails on his coin. And if snails up, these cards deal max damage. And if tails are up, he get, these cards deal a bonus damage. And he can gamble. And each card... Or each coin face also does something, like the heads, the snails will increase your composure by two, and the tails will do one damage to an enemy argument or something like that. And he has guns, defense, and these kicks kind of suck. Uh, he gets charge every turn, uh, and he has up to like four, I think, and if he ever, anything that's not charged gives him two defense, which is really cool, and anything that's charged gives him, well, charge to do for this. Uh, and if he gets overcharge, like you can have more charge than you can hold, then it just gives you bonus damage, and he has cards that deal with that too. It'd be neat if you could see, all the, see the cards you can update into, because it kind of gives you an idea how to play. But he's, uh, he's a lot more complicated, so maybe we'll do him later today. I gotta go put the truck up. This has been fun, so definitely, definitely look into this. It's got a free demo on Steam, so you can play for yourself, see if you like it. And I think currently dated, dated information, but it was like 12 bucks. So, yeah, definitely worth looking into. So, I'll see you all next time.